the new MCC season is Among Us, and it's called Elite. <laughs> It's one of the biggest MCC content drops yet, rivaling the ODST one from last year, but it's also been quite buggy as a content drop, which we will get into. For now though, let's talk about what's in it. Content from the Russian free-to-play game Halo Online has been backported into Halo 3. This means elite players have a ton of new armors to chase and unlock. The armors were designed with a very different art style and business model in mind, free-to-play, so the armors can range from looking kinda odd to just straight-up goofy. But if you mix and match the right pieces, you can end up with a pretty snazzy combination. This is my Elite currently. I'm really happy with him. The map edge was also ported from Halo Online into Halo 3, and it's an interesting one. Artistically, it looks a bit more like a Halo 4 map than it does a Halo 3 one, with that weird Promethean-y Forerunner aesthetic, but given the context of when this map was made and for what game, I understand why it looks this way. 343 also introduced skins for the energy sword that range from red blades to green blades. I'm currently rocking a banished one. Halo 4 even got some surprise goodies. The armor effects from Halo Reach have now been brought to Halo 4, so make your Spartan look crazy. The Champions DLC pack from the Xbox 360, which included a ton of armors and skins, was finally brought to the MCC. And 343 even included a free helmet from Halo Infinite for all players. Isn't that nice? You can find it in the exchange currently. Halo Combat Evolved also saw a ton of love this update, with many Gearbox graphical downgrades that have haunted Halo for over a decade now being fixed and addressed. Now, Halo Combat Evolved has a lot more depth, detail, and vibrancy in its classic visuals and looks less like a flat Half-Life 1 mod. It's not perfect. There's still code and gameplay-related issues, but visually, this is the good stuff. I'm really happy with the result, and I can't thank the MCC team enough for this. Even just for the sake of games preservation, this is good work from them. The custom game server browser is also finally in, with support initially being for Halo Reach. As time goes on, more games will be added, but it's here now and it's already a ridiculously fun break from the sweatiness of online matchmaking. Outside of just the fixes for the Gearbox Halo port, also comes the first iteration of mod tools for Halo MCC. And right now, they only support Combat Evolved, but more games such as Halo 3 will be included. And the community is already hard at work creating some weird and cool stuff. 343 also reorganized the extras menu, letting you watch the terminals and anniversary cutscenes in full HD. And if you're on Xbox, you even have links to watch... Um... Or leave the safety of the Master Chief Collection to play Halo 5. <clears throat> Okay, jokes aside, this is good stuff all around. On the topic of bug fixes, the MCC also got quite a lot of polishing to areas across the game, such as stability and reliability improvements to the challenges and battle pass menus. They fixed that clean Halo 3 bug that left Halo 3 looking weirdly, well, clean. Initial work has also begun on fixing various lighting issues in Halo 4, namely an infamous cutscene on the mission Reclaimer, where the lighting was just completely missing. Something interesting about this lighting bug in Halo 4 is that it's not as simple as just re-enabling the lighting. The bug is due to a specific way that the Xbox 360 handled the lighting of Halo 4, so I'll be curious to see how far 343 is able to go in fixing this. Oh, before I forget, 343 also fixed a bug that prevented you from modifying your FOV when using theater mode in Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary. All these things that I listed didn't even begin to scratch the surface of the bug fix list, so I recommend you read it for yourself. I'll leave a link down below. But now it's time to talk about the less fun stuff. New bugs that were introduced and old bugs that weren't fixed. Halo Combat Evolved, while looking much prettier and much more faithful to the Bungie original, has seen some weird oddities that I can't explain. On certain Xbox consoles, as well as PC, the game will noticeably hitch and stutter when loading new assets. It happens online and in custom games, so this isn't lag. If you have a console, load up a private match and just start throwing grenades or picking up and firing new weapons. It makes Halo Combat Evolved really hard to play right now, and I hope the MCC team is able to address this issue sooner rather than later. Clean Halo 3 being left unfixed for two months was a bit weird, but it was manageable since that didn't really affect gameplay. But this? does affect gameplay, and it can't be left unresolved until the next big MCC update months from now. 
Cortana's face is also kind of messed up in certain cutscenes on anniversary graphics. Thankfully, 343 does know about that one, but I also noticed this weird issue in the classic graphics where my view model seemed almost transparent in certain levels, such as 343 Guilty Spark. This is really weird looking, isn't it? I'm not sure what's going on here. A function within a set of shaders, such as the display screen on the Pillar of Autumn Bridge, was also bugged. In the flight for this update, the numbers correctly and smoothly cycled between bits of tactical data. Now, in the full release, they sputter and slide inconsistently. So something was glitched between the public flight and the release of this update. This shader function is also used in other areas of the game, so I'll keep on a lookout for funky looking holograms that have this weird glitchy look. Someone on Twitter also pointed out that the sides of the screen in Halo Combat Evolved are a bit weird looking, and sure enough, I have the same issue too. Do you see it right there along the sides of the screen? It just kind of looks glitchy and unfinished. If any of you also have this issue, please report it to Halo support. There's also older issues in this update that still haven't been addressed, such as the weird glitchy shadows in Halo 3 and ODST at higher than 60 frame rates, and classic aiming in Halo Combat Evolved still has not been fixed over a year after it was bugged, which when combined now with the new hitching issue, makes Combat Evolved really tough to play right now online. There was a lot of rough stuff in this update, but there was also an overwhelming amount of good stuff. The mod tools are an absolutely welcome addition. The custom game server browser has consistently yielded a ton of entertainment from me. And with the challenges menu being refreshed with a ton of exclusive rewards such as a white energy sword, I'm going to be playing MCC for quite a while longer. MCC's Elite Season may have stumbled a bit in the beginning, but now it's off to a healthy start. Minus some bugs and glitches that I hope are fixed sooner rather than later.